Hello everybody, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world electronics. I have a cryptocurrency miner running here. Um, I am getting some errors because Windows has filled up my little hard drive and I'm getting out of memory errors because I don't have enough uh, swap file. This used to be a great mining rig but right now it's not. Right now it's in limp mode. But you can see theoretically that I am mining. I am getting some shares here and there in between the errors but this is just proof of concept because what I got going on over here let me move you around the corner I have my little Arduino microcontroller working so I'll explain what's going on and for best um, reference you should go back to my previous video I'll put the link down below where I built this and set it up so what I have is the Arduino hooking up to a um, USB cord powered by my laptop so that's just power I have it extended here for now just so it has its own power now I have the a simulated battery voltage coming off the 5 volt power bus for now so I have 0 to 5 volts later that's going to be the 12 volt battery bank but for now we're running off the uh, the 5 volts line I'm going to switch that when I get back to the uh, to the homestead to my off-grid solar powered mining uh, cryptocurrency mining operation that this is going to control now what we got going on here I have a dial here which simulates the voltage up and down I can turn the dial to the left and the voltage will drop All right, the voltage will drop all good until we hit a certain low voltage range and right now we have a green LED showing that the computer is on and running that's just showing that the Arduino is, is, has turned that on to show me the computer is running. The blue LED flashes briefly when a change of status comes, occurs which turns on or off the mining rig. Now we're going to drop the voltage down. And now here we are, there's the mining rig. We are currently mining in limp mode, but we are mining. Okay. Now we're going to turn the voltage down simulating the sun going down in the sky now remember this is supposed to be a 12 volt system and then that light is going to flash and the yellow light is going to flash which is now connected actually when the blue light flashes the relay is connected to that same line so it's the output of the Arduino hitting that line high for a minute which engages the relay Oh, not the yellow LED is out of the circuit. I turned disconnected. It engages the relay, which connects the power button of the computer briefly. So watch this. We're mining. Okay. I'm going to lower the voltage. It's like the sun going down in the sky. The, the blue LED is going to flash, which at that very moment the relay engages, connecting, the, touching the power button of the computer. Watch. We're going to go down to a certain threshold voltage and that blue light's going to flash once we hit that thres threshold. It's there, one second. Boom! You can hear the change in the computer. Windows is shutting down. Look at that. We have effectively shut down the mining rig. Isn't that cool? So the sun has set in the sky. The Arduino has sensed a low voltage and shut off the mining rig for the night. All lights are off showing that the computer is off for the night. All quiet and happy and peaceful dark screen. Next day the sun starts to rise in the sky the voltage is going to go up. Batteries are charging batteries are charging. Watch those LEDs. That blue one's going to blink again and at that very moment the power button is going to be connected. Turning on the computer again and starting mining for the day. Uh, watch it, watch it. It's going to reach that threshold in a minute here. There it goes. Power button turn on. Green light turns on, showing that the computer is on. Computer starting its booting process and booting up. I have a fully automated control system to turn on and off mining rigs based on the battery voltage of my solar powered battery bank and it is functioning this is fully 100 percent controlled by this little Arduino so this dial right now I put in here to
to replace my solar power battery bank. That's right now just for testing purposes. That dial is replacing my battery bank. But once I get back to the homestead, to my off-grid cryptocurrency mining operation, that's going to come out of the system and the wires from the battery bank showing the voltage of the batteries going in here in its place. I'll have to change this, the trigger voltages. This computer is going to be turned on and off based on the, the voltage coming in from the solar panels and the status of the batteries at that time. We are booted up and this will run all day long until I change that dial or back at home on the mining farm. Uh, I don't have it set up to auto start mining. And also, well it is, yeah that's, um, what is it called, M uh, afterburner is starting all the, the fans up. Anyway, back on the farm, one thing you gotta know, you do not want this in BIOS to auto restart on power failure, in this case. You do not want to auto restart on power failure. That's a bad thing. Definitely not good at all. You want this to, when it's off, to stay off. Because that gives your Arduino full 100% control of your system. When it turns your, your computer off for the night, you want it to stay off for the night. Now the computer's fully booted. I don't want to hurt windows. So I'm going to turn that dial. The sun is setting in the sky again. And we're going to shut down for the night. All right. So watch that voltage and watch that blue LED is going to blink. The green LED just shows that the computer is running. That's for me to see that that rig, that particular rig is on at this time. So I can look at a glance and say, ah, yeah, mining rig one is on. Now this is going to be filled with a whole mess of rigs later on in relays. I just got one for now. So watch that voltage. Voltage is going to lower, go down as the sun sets in the night sky. The voltage will go down. And that blue LED will flash, which is actually literally pushing the power button on that computer when we hit that threshold voltage. Watch that blue LED going to flash in a minute here. Boom. Turning off the computer. Watch. Shut off. Look at that, huh? Isn't that cool? Now, I need to reduce the time of that because it's a one second delay and I'm going to make it to a fraction of a second because right now it seems like this motherboard is set very sensitive. I, d I don't want a hard off, I want a soft off. So I want a quick, very quick connection on that power button. So I'm going to change the programming in that so it's a soft off. I definitely do not want a hard off, you know, power off that thing. When you hold the button for more than a second, it shuts down completely. You don't want that. You want a soft off. So I'm going to change that. You click it fast, and then Windows starts to shut down the computer. And that's exactly the setting I'm going to have. But for now, proof of concept, it works. It is working. i got to do a little bit of tweaking on the timing, and that's it. That way, you click that, Windows starts to shut down the computer normally and gently. And that's that's optimal. I only had that blue LED showing uh, a long one second pulse for me during the testing stage for a visual indicator um, so I could see what was going on and if it blinked too fast it would be too fast for me to catch. Now I can reprogram and change the settings but this is really cool. This is really exciting guys. It works. It really works. So I'm going to turn on the mining rig for the day. I'm going to leave it running. And then I'm going to disconnect the circuit, but uh, watch that voltage, watch that blue light, light's going to blink, and a mining rig's going to fire up and run. There. Power has been made, uh, power button has been pressed, computer is booting up, we have success. We have a fully automated control system for a cryptocurrency, a solar powered cryptocurrency mining farm. Back at the homestead. Remove that, connect the, volt, the batteries, change the pulse length, add more computers, we're good to go. Next step, you're going to see me setting this up in the off-grid solar powered camper where the mining farm is operating and doing the test there live using a real battery bank. Well, hope that all makes sense to you all guys. This is really exciting and when I'm done I'll open source everything so you can do it yourself. It is Troy from the do-it-yourself world electronics.
setting up a fully automated solar powered cryptocurrency mining farm controlled by an Arduino microcontroller please like subscribe and share hit that bell icon to get notifications of uh, further uploads from this channel talk to y'all later